didn't recognize the king And they know that MVP rose from their grave It's game time, game time, game time We win and we win and we win and we win and it's game time Game time, game time We win and we win and we win and we win Undefeated, never lost well, welcome to Lady Lions Softball here in Chandler, Oklahoma. Tony Booty Wilson with you along with Mr. Jeff Matheny, high school principal and athletic director, Zaylin Robinson on the uh, ones and twos and the balls and strikes today. And Jeff, before we get going, man, pretty somber. Yep, tough day in the, in the Lincoln County area. Had the unfortunate incident last night with a young lady losing her life at Davenport. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Devonport schools their family and as a former police officer a call you never have to want to make or go knock a door and I'm sure with you as a dad and a coach and a teacher you know just something you fear all the time yeah tough deal and just uh thoughts and prayers go out to everybody in Davenport well Morris is in town today for a varsity JV contest and the Lady Eagles are a pretty good team. Uh, talked to an umpire that saw him at Oilton, said they're pretty scrappy and got some girls that can run a little bit. And Lady Lions with a rugged schedule over the weekend at the uh, Moore Festival. Moore, um, Choctaw, South Moore, and Yukon going one and three. Yeah, it was a uh, tough run, but uh, Lady Lions got to see some good pitching, good hitting. Just some good play all around. Yeah, Moore and Choctaw are uh, probably perennial state tournament uh, contenders each year. So it's good for Lady Lions to get out and go about as Kennedy starts off the game with two strikes right down the heart of the plate. Yeah, a lot of good movement on those first two pitches. Coming right at them early. I like to see that. Set the lineup for you defensively for the Lady Lions. See you. Yeah, she Sometimes. was on right there. Two, two really uh, little look like little curveballs, pretty much right down the heart of the plate to get 0-2, and then working that outside third to record the f strikeout on the first batter of the game. Sometimes there's uh, no chance of you hitting a pitch, and that was definitely one of those situations. This is B. Cagle coming up for the first time in the ball game today. A little kind of a slap swing. Now she go back to the other side and hit from the right side. Yeah, she gave it a shot. <laughs> Not much more. Yeah, she didn't like what she saw from that side, so she'll flip around and take a different uh, view of it. Well, obviously she didn't like that one either because she swung through that one for strike two. Kennedy pounding the strike zone here in the early goings with five straight strikes. And there's six for strikeout number two. Definitely like to see that for sure. I bring up number 12 to the plate for the Lady Eagles. Ducklos, E. Ducklos. 12. First ball from Kennedy of the seven pitches that she's thrown. Okay. Kennedy's 1-0 on the way. That one's in there for a strike. A little change up. Foul tipped into the glove of Ruthie Caps behind the plate today and left. Sydney Haas in center. Cap B all in right. Gentry Garner at third. Hadley Massengale. Pretty tough day for her for sure. Berlin Korea at short. Carson Jackson there, strike number two at second. Charlie Hicks at third. And Kennedy Allen, as we've said, in the circle, has now a 1-2 count. Here with two down in the top half of the first. Nobody on for the Lady Eagles. 1-2 pitch on the way. In there for strike three. Striking out the side is Allen. 1-2 and three in the top half of the first for the Lady Lions. Coming up, Beal, Korea, and Jackson. Watch some Lady Line softball on ChandlerLions.tv. 
For the best fire and life safety services, trust the experts at Freedom Alarms. They provide service for schools, hotels, restaurants, gas stations, and commercial and residential properties. From fire alarm and sprinkler systems to camera and access control security systems and more, Freedom Alarms is dedicated to keeping you safe. Call Freedom Alarms at 405-328-7194 or go online to freedomalarms.net. Freedom Alarms, your one-stop provider for fire and life safety services. This is your conscience telling you to hydrate, reminding you that recovery, too, is part of the game. Electrolyte, immediate hydration. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, here to the bottom half of inning number one. Bro, it's a little toasty out. It is. I see earlier 100 degrees. That's the normal temp. Feels hotter. 100 <laughs> degrees feels like. 114. Man, what a guess. How did you figure that out? <laughs> Boy, good. Oh, I thought you were asking me. Oh. <laughs> uh, winds east at 5, so not a factor today. Yeah, I'm looking at those flags. I'm not seeing much uh, no. much wind. No, nope, not not a whole lot to them at all. Maybe those trees right there to the uh, to the east are blocking that easter, easterly wind. Tell you what, today would be a good day to come watch some softball. I need a cold snow cone. It's uh, set up out here for you. We got uh, just getting started here in the bottom half of the first with Cat Beal, Lady Lions center fielder number ten, senior trying to get on board to get something started here in this district game. Lady Lions are three and one in district play. Is that right? Four and one. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, three and one. Three and one. Yep. Nine and four overall. Three of those losses coming this past weekend. Cat's first pitch is taken high for a ball. Trying to get those wheels in motion. Pitch is down and out for ball number two. Let's see if Coach Herring makes her take a take a pitch here. Way ahead in the count at two and zero. Oh. She's swinging. It's going to fly out to left field. That's a pretty standard spot for Cat to hit the ball if uh, if it's not on the ground is there to the left fielder. Bring up shortstop number 27, Brinley Correa. Cat put good bat to ball there. Just kind of got on the bottom side of it a little bit and flew out to the left fielder. Now Brinley trying to get something going. Here in her first AB. Yeah, Brinley's been uh, been a pretty good two hole in the regard of backing up, you know, following up Cat in the lineup, kind of a secondary leadoff spot. She's done a pretty good job getting on base, hitting the ball pretty well overall. Got herself in an 0 2 here, though. Takes that one high for ball, one and two. Pretty good drive from over there just uh, east of Oak Mulgee to get here today. That one jammed her. See if it's going to stay fair. It oh is going to be fair. That's going to be an infield single. I thought the catcher might uh, – that ball had some serious backspin on it. I thought the catcher might just kind of jump out of the way and let that one go foul. But uh, she doesn't. And uh, we'll take it. Lady Lions benefit from it. I think she maybe was in one of those – caught in the middle positions yeah kind of had to make a decision pretty quickly there because that ball didn't you know wasn't hit out too far away from her but uh, the the amount of backspin on it was obvious Carson takes one in there for a strike team in the count at one and one kind of surprised that coach Herring doesn't have Brindley on the move already with Carson at the plate Brin's got good wheels over there at first. There's a fly ball to deep center. Center fielder drifting back, makes the catch. No tag for out number two. Yeah, pretty good uh, contact there for Carson. Just a little bit too fly ballish. Gets under that one. Easy routine play for center fielder for Morris. 
Today's tough for a lot of people, but especially so for Hadley Massingale. A transfer from Davenport takes the first pitch from for a strike. Her teammate last year for the Lady Dogs. Playing third base today. There's a rip down the left field. Ball was hit on a button there, Jeff. Yep, pretty good approach, sitting on a good uh, good pitch there. Little inside, takes it to the takes it straight to the left fielder. Nice hard hit ball for Hadley. Got to bring up Kennedy Allen. KK looking for an RBI and a lead. Pitches off the plate for a ball. I tell you who I don't want to be today is Paul <laughs> or Stephen. Well, they're in shape for it. They've been, uh, I know they've been calling a lot, especially Steven. I know he's been calling a lot out there at uh, Fire Lake on that turf. Oh. You think it's hot here. Holy guacamole. Get, get some of that turf action. Oh, boy. It'll melt your shoes. Take that one, KK. She's waiting on the RBI instead. Big pitch coming up here. Still just off that outside edge of the plate. Coach Herring needs to check that lineup because he's got Ruthie batting next, but the lineup card shows Sydney. It also has Gentry playing second along with Carson. <laughs> We're going to see right quick. But my lineup card. Let's see what mine shows. Mine shows, uh, mine shows Hicks. We're all discombobulated. Well, there's 10 in the lineup, so one of these is that DP. Well, I don't even have that on here. I just have the regular nine. All right. Well, there's Sydney. Well, that's what I've got. Up. So that's Savannah Miller coming into courtesy run for Kennedy. Bases full of Lady Lions here in the bottom half of the first. A ripping single by Korea. I mean, that was a rip, right? So I put it down on the scoreboard. Solid single from Massengale and a base on balls for Allen brings up the left fielder, 22, Sydney Haas. Sid's been missing a few games. Great to have her back in the starting lineup. Takes that first pitch in for a strike. Yeah, coming back off of a little bit of a knee injury and has looked pretty good. I know she pitched, I believe, against UConn on Saturday, the one yes. win that the Lady Lions picked up in that Southmore Festival. Big win for her. Hadn't, uh, you know, with the exception of the uh, Lincoln Christian game, didn't really get to see her, or, or was it Preg last week? Or oof, hadn't got to see her really swing the bat a whole lot, but uh, Preg. Was that Prague? Yes, yep. sir. Put the ball in play a couple times. Yep. Watched her getting down the line. Didn't didn't really seem to appear that that knee was still bothering her that much. Oh, that one was good. Yeah. She wants that one back for sure. As the shortstop hits the catches the towering pop up to end the half inning. No runs, two hits, no errors, and three ladies left for the Lions. 0-0 zero, zero through the end of one. You're watching Morrison Chandler on ChandlerLines.tv. We'll be right back. As an independent agency, Landstar KLE provides customized freight management solutions to suit any need. They specialize in flatbed, van, overdimensional, heavy haul, and expedited solutions. Landstar has a history of excellent customer service and looks forward to meeting your supply chain demands in a safe and timely manner. Call Carla and Aaron with Landstar KLE at 405-258-6289. Landstar KLE, designed to respond, built to deliver. Well, there's one thing for certain today, Mr. Matheny. Judd Garner will not be watching us from Washington, D.C. because he's here. He's here. He is. All right, he's back. Glad to have him back at the field. Let's see if I can get my uh, game changer back on. 
Find out who uh, we got batting here for the Lady Eagles here leading off the visiting half of the second. F. Clark, number 28. Missed it by that much. So you got to keep them on their toes, right? You don't want to just keep throwing strikes all the time. I make them think about what's coming. Right, yeah. Keep, uh, keep them off balance in that batter's box. Don't let them dig in. Didn't look like a nice rise ball there out of the hand. That's what Crash Davis said, right? I have no idea where this is going. <laughs> Maybe that's what Ruthie's back there saying. I would be. Swing and a miss. Strike number two. Well, so far, top part of the order for Morris this first time through doesn't seem to be on time with their swings. A lot of late swings so far. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three on the high inside fastball. Rise favorite, ball. Favorite spot. She likes that pitch with two strikes. She'll come up and in with that rise ball. Likes to likes to get it on the inside half of the plate. Tough pitch to hit. A. Clevenger now at the plate, taking her first opportunity against Miss Allen. I think it would be uh, safe to say, Jeff, that uh, if you were to look at some current season stats, she would have to be one of the strikeout leaders in the entire state. Yeah, it's, uh, she's got she's to rank up there, I would think. I mean, I'd put her top five. Averaging a, at least ten a game, probably more than that. There's going to be a easy little pop out. You know, it's not as easy as people think it is for catchers to get out of their crouch and and uh, find the ball and, and then, you know, make the play, right? Right. Yeah, tough. Uh, Fourteen. Guinness, G U I N E S, a Guinness. Man, I tell you what, that pitch right there, that was uh, not fair at all underneath the hands, right there on the corner of the plate, and had a little oompa to it. Ball fouled into the net quickly, no balls, two strikes. In eight starts, she's got 89 strikeouts, and she Ooh. has appeared in another game as well. As she threw uh, the innings at Cushing, right? After uh, Isabella's, yep. Isabella's two she's, innings. She's pitched 51 and a third, 89 Ks. There's a ground ball to Carson. Up, across, out. Three up, three down. Once again, goes the Lady Eagles. Lady Lions looking to score in the bottom half. We'll be back right after this. Since 2001, Sean Sullivan Roofing has been serving Chandler and the surrounding communities by providing superior roofing, siding, and gutter solutions. Whether you need a small repair or a full replacement, they provide the highest quality workmanship and a product that's guaranteed to last. To get your free estimate, call Sean Sullivan Roofing at 405-834-7657 or go online to seansullivanroofing.com. Fully licensed and insured. License number 800-00053. COTC Connections is a proud supporter of Chandler Athletics. With a commitment to their community, COTC Connections takes pride in their quick and reliable customer service. They offer a wide array of communication services, including phone and Internet. COTC is upgrading and expanding their high-speed fiber Internet service in order to bring the latest technology to their Chandler area customers. Call 405-654-0404 or go online to cotc.net. COTC Connections, old friends with new ideas. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Button. I pushed it the wrong way. <laughs> Silly button. Charlie Hicks will be leading off here for the Lady Lions. They stranded three in their first half inning. 
Got him on the pawn, but couldn't get him driven in. It's Hicks playing first base today for the Lady Lions, trying to get it started off. Takes the first pitch up and away for ball number one. So he didn't index a one fourteen, Jeff. What do you think that dirt is? If you were guessing, um, one twenty desert. <laughs> <laughs> Man, speaking of desert, did you see the flooding in the Palm Springs and everything in California with the little? I did not. Hurricane come through. Did not. Hurricane Hillary. I don't, I don't watch a lot of the news anymore. Just you know, just uh, gloom and despair. Yeah, a lot, man, a lot. So I just just kind of keep an eye on stuff that affects us here locally. And ooh, ooh, nasty hop. Good job of leaving that little pebble right there. <laughs> Get Hicks a base hit. That'll go as a base hit. Bounce right over the glove, the shortstop. She was in good position just to hop right over. Yeah, that's one one thing you'll see when the when the dirt is extremely dry and hot like this. You'll see a lot of those bad hops. It's hard to keep the you know keep the infield softened up by keeping it wet and damp, and uh, you'll see a little bit more of that in this type of conditions. Ruthie gets the bunt down. No chance at first, at second as they didn't even look at her. Probably could have had a chance, I think. Yeah, I agree. I think fortunately she just kind of picked it up quickly, threw it to first base. But uh, that ball bunted just hard enough right back to the pitcher. She did have an opportunity to get the lead runner, Charlie Hicks, who's now at second base. In scoring position for freshman Gentry Garner, the right fielder. First pitch into Gentry. Inside and down for ball one. And she's, uh, we talk about it quite a bit, but man, she's, uh, she's been very good for the Lady Lions this season. Yep. Done a great job. Come in and earned herself a spot, really, because, you know, the, her first opportunity was given based on an injury and, now that uh, one of the two. Now, yeah, well, yeah, there is another one. But uh, now that Haas is back, she's she's held on to that spot out there in right field. Pitches in there for a strike. Makes it two balls and one strike. Two and one. Oh, Ooh. she touched it. Man, I don't. Did she not? I yeah, guess not. it was really, really close. Bucky didn't. Coach Herring down there in the third base box didn't. Uh, didn't argue it? No, didn't say a whole lot about it. But, man, it was uh, millimeters. Moves the count to two balls, two strikes. Pitch well off, three and two. Good A-B working here for Garner. I saw Mr. Body. He may be coming up today. <laughs> he's, he's walking towards this way. I wouldn't be surprised. If I was him, I'd be in here. <laughs> well, pitch on the inner third called strike three looking for out number two. It... Uh it's doing its best to keep up, but it's falling behind pretty quickly. Oh, that's a nice That's bunt. trouble. Yeah, you double pump it out of your glove. Oh, where are we at? She should have just kept on trucking. Yeah, right there with, with two outs. When you're the runner on second base, there's, there's no stopping. You just keep moving because it's either going to be inning over or something like that is going to happen to allow the runner to – to be safe. Right. And so right there you've got to keep going and get that run. Oh, that's a nice rip right up the middle for Korea. First pitch swing and Brindley drives in the runs for the game's first run, I should say, or meant to say. A little RBI single there for the shortstop. Yeah, that ball on a little bit on the inner half. Great job, Brindley staying inside that. Ripping it right back up the middle. 
All right, CJ, let's do your thing right here. Yeah, we don't have a home run yet on the season, do we? We do not. Man, I think it's time for one right here. Right at the scoreboard. She hit it hard last time up, dead center. Ball's in there for a strike. Yeah, what I've noticed is a lot of pitchers are throwing her inside. I would think that's kind of in her wheelhouse, and that's what she wants to see, but she doesn't. She doesn't uh, uncork on those pitches very often. Well, she was trying to there. Those New Balance, uh, that's one of the black pairs. That's one of the three. She was trying to come out of them. It's funny the other day when she was up here. One, two. Even the count at two. Pretty good take right there. Pitch was... Little spinner. Ended up quite a bit off the play, a little off speed, down and away soft. Carson turned on that one, but it's going to be foul. Count remains two and two. Two balls, two strikes, two out, two on. Second inning. Lots of twos. Scoreboard right here. Third oh. baseman makes the play for the out. Five unassisted on the fielder's choice for out number three. Lady Lions, strand two, but pick up one. They have a one to nothing lead, headed to the top of the third. You're watching Chandler Lady Lions softball on ChandlerLions.tv. Have created our own drink company. Drink <laughs> the fastest growing sports drink in history. We will fight! We will fight! Ladies and gentlemen, the rookie has prime! This season, we are hydrated! The official sports drink of the UFC! It's <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Lady Line Softball. Jeff, let's take a look uh, Thursday. Here at uh, Lady Lions Park, we will be hosting the 66 Conference Fast Pitch Tournament. Game number one will be 4 o'clock. The number one seed, Chandler Lions, taking on the Seminole Lady Chieftains. At 5.30, Holdenville and Prague square off. And at 5.30 in Okima, McLeod and Meeker. And then at 4 o'clock, excuse me, 4 o'clock first at Okima is Okima Straub. And the two winners will play Thursday at 8.30. One here in Chandler, one in Okima. And then the uh, losers will play at 7 o'clock, respectively. So a lot of softball going to be here. Four games on a Thursday evening. We'll have them all for you here on ChandlerLions.tv. So if you know someone that uh, may live in Seminole, Holdenville, or Prague that can't make it to the ball games, have them tune in to ChandlerLions.tv. Powered by Scordon, we'll bring you all the action. D. Lewis starting off the top half of the third for the Lady Eagles of Morris, and she quickly finds herself in an 0-2 count. Well, Kennedy here, top of the third, still looking strong and focused, working ahead in the count on just about everybody she's faced so far. I'm going to go ahead and write this down. Goodbye. Wow, yeah, right there on that outer half. She likes that little... She's got two really good out pitches that she uses, that little backdoor curve ball and then the high and tight rise ball. And when she's spotting them up, working ahead in the count and spotting those two pitches up, tough to hit it. See Casey number five at the plate. They had that little sound bite on a sports animal when there's no chance, 0, 0. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like when that pitch is thrown right there by Kennedy that she did with the last batter. That's about as much chance as you have of – even hitting it. Definitely tough to hit. That, that, that'll earn you a living right there. Oh, two. Yeah, Kennedy, most of her games she's come out really looks really sharp early. Seems like about somewhere in the midway through the game, she kind of, there's that high type pitch. Don't get too comfortable up on the plate looking for that outside one. No, but, uh, no. 
But as I was saying, you know, she looks really sharp early and just kind of hits a little bit of a stretch in the middle where she'll go through three or four batters and, you know, work a little bit behind in the count and just not, not be on her normal game like she starts off. She's holding it together so far. Another strikeout. And what does that give her? Four or five on this one? Three, four, five, and six. Six. How about that? Fixico, okay, Fixico number 16 now at the plate. Will she be the next victim here? Ball down. Yeah, you know, you talked about that with those that little stretch there in about the fourth and fifth inning. She kind of, it's almost like there's just a, I don't think it's a focus problem, but it's just that, you know, she's trying to get a little bit too finessed with these batters that she's already faced and done this to. And, but uh, instead of just going after them, I think. And, and But then in the sixth and seventh, you see her back to her original rhythm and form. Right, yeah. Yeah, she usually pulls it back together and, and finishes strong. But uh, it seems like just somewhere in the middle, there's just a little hitch. And, uh, and it could be just trying to get a little bit too fine early in the count, working behind batters and, you know, and then – then when you get into those counts where they know what you've got to come to them. Goodbye. Yeah. It a little makes it a little bit easier to hit, but still still pretty tough. There's another one. Strikes out the side for strikeout number seven. Morris goes down in order. We'll be back after this. Lady Lions softball on ChandlerLions.tv. And Mr. C's Custom Cuts is your friendly hometown butcher shop offering fresh cut meat daily. Beef, pork, chicken, we have it all. Don't feel like cooking? Check out our smoked specials menu where you'll find brisket, pulled pork, bologna, and more. We even have the sides to go with it. Menu items are posted daily on our Facebook page. Mr. C's Custom Cuts located at 1599 East 1st Street in Chandler. Come and get it. Welcome, Welcome back, back, ladies and gentlemen. 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 Welcome back. I don't know why it's, I keep wanting to push that when it's off. I guess because I'm silly. Yeah. Who we got? Hadley? Yes, sir. All right. Good place to start. Hadley Massagale singled sharply her uh, first at bat to left field. Let's see what she does this time. She takes pitch number one high. Hadley's been a welcome addition to this Lady Lions ball club as well, Jeff. Yeah, done a pretty good job. Probably been one of the most consistent hitters day in and day out. Good approach. Um, pretty disciplined approach. Doesn't swing at a whole lot of uh, pitches out of the zone. And, and when she swings, puts a really nice swing on it and usually makes solid contact. Two balls, no strikes. Three and oh. Imagine Coach Herring and let her go. Just kind of gave her a yeah, you new side. Look like to her. KK waits on deck. That was in there for a strike. Hadley looking all the way. Still way ahead in the count at three and one. Got to be something sweet. For yeah, right here. I look for her to come out of her shoes if she gets a pitch. Good job on the little short hop there by the third baseman. Throws a crowd across for out number one. I bring up pitcher Kennedy Allen. But had wishes she had that one back. Kennedy's came out of her stirrup on the right hand side. <laughs> oh, we'll nice. take that. Took it in there. HBP for Miss Allen. Probably see Savannah Miller on her way. As we saw in the last half inning. 
excuse me, in the first half inning. Sydney Haas, left fielder coming up. We've been extremely quiet on the base pass this uh, so far. Kind of yeah. uncharacteristic for us. Yeah, I, wasn't, I haven't paid attention to the catcher's arm. I'm sure Coach Herring has, but uh, I'd like to see us challenge that arm right here. There, there you comes. go. No, not even a an attempt. Kind of surprising. It didn't even look like Savannah was running full force there. Yeah, it almost looked like a delay, but, but she took off. That's a pretty good pitch right there yeah. in her own right. That inside edge of the plate. Good spot here. Sydney just needs to get it in play. Well, that, that, that's it'll a play. Work. Throw it away. Ooh. Field umpire Stephen Walters with the quick punch out on the 5 3 ground out moves Miller to third with Charlie Hicks at the plate. Charlie singled her first at bat between the second baseman and the bag. She has scored the game's only run on the RBI from Korea. Yeah, Charlie swung it pretty well at times this year. Good read. That's has, a good read there. Has uh, on several occasions kind of been the, the catalyst for some good innings for the Lady Lions in some big games. Well, typically, we see the Lady Lions score three in the third. There's a ground ball towards short. A lot Ooh. of top spin on that ball. 6-3 on the throw across. Lady Lions strand one in their half of the third. Lead one to nothing. We'll be back after this. Now drink up. You're losing a lot of water out there. Coach, if we're losing water, why don't we just drink water? One day, it will hit you. Nothing hydrates quite like water, with no artificial colors, no calories, no sugar. Nestle Pure Life. Choose the crisp, clean taste of America's number one bottled water. Nestle Pure Life. Embrace the pure life. Top half of the inning, a number four set to commence. Here on a nice, cool, brisk afternoon in Chandler. So the sour strips. Oh yeah, got gotcha, you, huh? They got me. I mean, I talk about them, and my jaws want to clench up right <laughs> back here somewhere. <laughs> I, uh, man, they're in my car, and uh, I was given one, and I said, uh, I'm thankful that we have the opportunity for these. However, <laughs> I. Uh, you got me. You got me. The pucker pucker factor was uh, in full effect. I bet. Back to the top of the lineup for the Lady Eagles. Os Brooks leading off. There's a bunt attempt. Strike. Somebody was excited and uh, yelled bunt. I may have tried some of those Dots pretzels, though, in a cold Coca-Cola. Watched the JV game for a while. Yeah, I hear they're pretty tasty. Do you know what flavors we have by chance? Well, we only have the home style. Okay, okay. So that's what we got. Home style? And it? actually, the <laughs> the weird thing is, you know, we were planning on carrying those all season, but in the first delivery, they I was notified that uh, they are no longer carrying that item. So we're, we're oh. as soon as they're out, we're out. Well, I but guess that's I, all right. I, I guess I better stuff. really get them now then, right? That's right. You've never had them? Uh, no, I've actually had them. They're really, they're pretty good. Two one. Three one. I mean, is this like, is this deja vu? I mean, <clears throat> didn't we just talk about this? First three ball count. Yeah, probably the first batter she's worked behind on. That one's in there. Yeah, nice pitch right there. Running it to full count. I mean, her velocity-wise, she's been so dominant, you know. 
you can just attack the middle of the plate pretty early and then uh, work the corners as you get a, an advantage count. She must have known that I wasn't happy with her going 3-1, so she had to battle back for the strikeout. Yep, battle back right there. Another out. Number eight. Eight. Eighty percent of her outs have come via strikeout today. And we're back. We're rolling through the top of the order here, aren't we? We are. Cagle was a swinging strikeout victim in the first inning. We got some instruction coming over there from one of the dad coaches. Yep. See how well he does. Pitches down and out for a ball. Makes the count two and oh. Uh, maybe first time. Maybe it's part of her strategy. You know, first time through the order, just pound the zone. Make them think, you know, you're just going to pound it, pound it. And then second time through the order, it's like, wait a minute. Now we're a little bit out of the zone. So maybe I can't be so comfortable in this batter's box. You never so. know where it's going. That's right. I wouldn't dig in there if I was you. <laughs> I don't think I would anyway. <laughs> no, nah, no chance. There's a ball hit down right field, goes foul. Makes the count two and two. Miss Cagle. New Balance must be the uh, shoe of choice for softballers. I'm getting ready to buy me a pair tomorrow, in fact. Ball's popped up. Carson coming in, makes the catch, calling everybody off. Good job of communication there by Carson Jackson. Yeah, a great job of communicating. She calls it, lets everybody know early and often that uh, it's her ball, and everybody stands back, lets her go make the play. Secures the out for number two here in the top of the fourth. Oh, man, I laugh because that pitch is just it's just dirty. That's all you can call it. Yeah, that ball coming off the – starting off the plate, coming right back over that outside edge from the lefty. Kennedy Allen, tough to – tough to really get a good uh, good eye on, get a – put a good swing on it. She hadn't even had to go to that rise ball today very much, Jeff, for her strikeouts. No, not a whole lot. She's been living on that outer edge today. She's she sprinkled it in a little bit, but but not as much as we've seen in, in some games. You may see one back in, in under the hands right here, maybe on the inner third. 2-1 count. Oh, tells you how dumb I am. 3-1. Zaitlin had one of those burgers while go coach. That thing looked tasty. He said it was pretty good. Oh, got her to chase. Uh, what would have been ball four for sure. Yeah, a lot of help right there. That would have been a base runner for Morris there with two outs. But instead, get a little help. Got a chance to record the out here on the next pitch. That's what she does. Gets the help for strike number two and finds her way for strike number three. Two more strikeouts in the half inning. One to nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth on ChandlerLines.tv. Bank First is uniquely Oklahoman, deeply rooted in over 50 communities statewide. From those roots, our investment in education springs forth, helping to raise the Oklahoma leaders of tomorrow while providing financial strength to the business leaders of today. That's the kind of loyalty that helps entire communities thrive. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Take a look here at the upcoming uh, events here for Chandler Athletics. Lady Lions will be at Kellyville tomorrow, I believe. Yes, game time, five o'clock, Varsity JV. Once again, Thursday the 24th, we'll have four conference softball games right here at Lady Lion Field. 
Varsity football will head to Heritage Hall Thursday evening for a 6 o'clock kickoff scrimmage. We will not have the scrimmage on ChandlerLines.tv as we'll be here for softball. Uh, junior high fast pitch today is the 21st. They are at Stroud and here tomorrow with Kellyville. 5 o'clock doubleheader. Uh, junior high football doesn't start till the 5th of September. And the 26th, the junior high and high school cross country runners will be at Jones for the Jones cross country meet. Keep up with the schedule changes on Facebook, Chandler Lions Act. Let's see, Chandler Lions Athletics and Activities. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Just a bit high. I think she hit the mascot with that one. And tried she to. might have. The Durham Bull has gone down. <laughs> Ruthie Caps sacrifice one four. And her only plate appearance turns on that one. Way ahead. Man, I know you didn't get to see it, but Josh Riley, that dude could pull a baseball on any pitch. He kind of, this kind of what remind, Ruthie reminds me of. He could get a ball that's four inches off the plate and hit the blue billhorn. Good eye there by Caps. Two and one. Let's Trying see. to throw inside quite a bit here. Let's see if she gets on. We're going to see Blakely there Smith. There we go. We're going to find out. Solid at bat there for Ruthie. Working the count to 2 1. Good plus one advantage count for her. Nice swing. Just a nice solid line drive single in the center field to start it off. Indeed, Blakely Smith, the courtesy runner for the Lady Lions. Yep, you see uh, Blakely's mom and dad down there. They brought the uh, the fathead to the ballpark. Oh, I'm sure she's embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> she probably likes it. She, uh, she's, knowing she's, Blakely, she probably oh, she she's, probably kind of digs it. She a probably bit. ordered it herself. <laughs> Here, mom. Jeremy, Can you bring this to the game, please? Jeremy probably said, <laughs> "What are you doing?" All right, Gentry, do your job here. Oh, Ooh. well. She just pulls that back. It ends up being a HBP uh, dead ball strike, but uh, yeah. Might never run a little fake bun here. Well, that one was turned on as well. I think that one hit Coach Herring's door up there going to the indoor. No balls, two strikes <laughs> on the Lady Lion right fielder. Swing and bunt will be an out. Coach Herring's trying to say that she swung at that with her wrists. Wanted it to be a foul ball, just an ordinary foul ball, but home plate umpire disagrees. Kind of wristed it. Was well, was kind of a weird look there. Coach Aaron played his case to no avail. Bring up Cat Beal. Cat fakes the bunt, pulls it back for ball one. Cat with a single and a fly out to left. One for two on the afternoon. Drags that one to first. We're going to see if she'll get it. Looks like she's there. That goes an infield single for Beal. Motors on down the line. Motoring. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Brilliant career. Hot stick, two for two. Yeah, that last one, she ripped it right back up under the. Oh, there's a tough one. Boy, another foot to the. Yeah, hour just, left. Yeah, just, just too much. Not really. Got to at least make the pitcher move outside the circle to go make a play. Just got to get that angle, bad angle set. Carson is due. 
at fate and a ground out fielder's choice. But once again, Jeff, we got people on the bags that can run, and we just haven't ran today. Yeah, right here with two outs, kind of hard to – you don't really want to make that last out at third base. Ooh, man, that one looked pretty good. Just, Holy a, just a hair Holy. up, I guess. Guacamole. You like guacamole? Love it. Love it. Now Laura makes really good guacamole. Carson man, that one's just trouble. Might get down. It does. Hurry. Boy, Cat's got to, Cat's got to get on the jets to get there. She does just ahead of the throw. Brindley scoots over to third. That'll go as an RBI single for Carson. Takes second on the throw. Hadley Massengill now at the plate trying to pick up two more for the lay lines here in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll do it. Stay fair. Ooh. Just out in front of it, a skosh. Hadley one for two on the day. Base hit in the first. Five three ground out in the third. Well, I tell you what, a lot of these pitches are called strikes. The girls, you can see that uh, the demonstrative posturing of their body is saying, no way. That's a good pitch right there to strand two. But the Lady Lions, however, pick up another run to extend the lead to two as we head to the top half of the fifth. Chandler two, more zero. ChannelLions.tv. We'll be back right after this. Need a school letter jacket? Call J.R. Cunningham at Senco today. Senco is a proud supporter of Chandler Lion Athletics, exclusive sponsor of the Mark Howard Memorial Baseball Tournament and the official provider to the Oklahoma Coaches Association for Allstate Rings and Allstate Jackets. To order your custom school letter jacket today, email jr at synco at cotc.net or call 405-258-0282. That's 405-258-0282. 0282 Senco, the choice of champions. I really start my day at 5 a.m. I work out four days a week, pretty much every day. I sustain this lifestyle. I have to make sure I recover, make sure I drink electrolytes, and take care of my body. And I would suggest if you want to maintain this, make sure you hydrate your body and always drink electrolytes. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the top half of the fifth, the visitors of Morris Trail, two to nothing. And we may have a, uh, an announcement coming up here before too long involving Senko Trophy, might we? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, still working on the details. But, oh, uh, boy. Got to tease it, right? I mean. Yeah, I guess. I don't want to. We're not divulging too much information. <laughs> Miss Clark at the plate, number 28. First pitch in for a strike. Right there. Here's how the score sheet looks thus far. Strikeout, 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 strikeout. F2, 4, 3, strikeout, 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 strikeout. F4, strikeout. Let me go in. Right, let me go in right this one down, too. I need to get my counter. I need a counter out there over the window. Oh, I keep forgetting a pad of sticky notes for you oh, so you can man. put them on the window. We got to get that going. You're going to have to remind me during the day when I'm at my office. Okay. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> we'll get them Thursday. I imagine Thursday we might get them for, uh, get to put them up for Sid or Bella. Well, that's all right. Yeah, but who, I don't care. Let's get them up there. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. There you go. Double digit strikeouts again. Four and a third innings. Achieve that. Yeah, in her uh, in her starts, she's averaging over 11 strikeouts a game. So she is on pace to demolish that average. 
if she continues to uh, pitch the way she is pitching so far. A little help doesn't hurt. I mean, that's just that right there is a testament to the guess that you have no idea where the pitch is going to be, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. You, you've got to you gotta really lock in and, and uh, trust your approach when you're batting against somebody that – Let me go and write this down. There we go. Well, there's the average. Still has three, seven outs remaining. 4-3, Gines with uh, one of the only two balls put in fair play. The only ground ball back in the second. Good luck. Are we out in the order? About six or seven holes? Yes, sir. Six. Six. Kennedy's pitch. Look out. Heads up. Nice save. I think Ruthie just saved his life. With the Did deflection. She? Did she? It was going to be <laughs> close. I think it might have missed him by a fraction. But she was she was there to try to help. Oh two. Let me go ahead and write this down too. Number twelve. No. Nope. Nice effort by Charlie Hicks over there, just out of the reach. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say right here, she is not getting a pitch in the strike zone. Is she going to chase it? We're either coming down and away or up and in. I don't. I don't know which, but uh, I don't know if she'll chase it or not. How about a ground ball to short? Six Good three job. on the put out. Three up, three down, through five, two to nothing, Lady Lions. Tones Enterprises is a proud supporter of Chandler High School Athletics. Whether you want to score a flavorful soft snow cone or be the team hero with a hot, fresh, made-to-order pizza, Tones will make you the real MVP. Follow Tones Funky Snow Cone Tina and Tones United Nation Pizza Company on Facebook to see where the trucks are parked and satisfy your cravings. Or schedule your event with Tones. Call 405-240-7469. Taste the Tones difference. What what was I clapping for? You just give him a clap. All right. Was that the uh, Poppy? Bobby? Poppy? Poppy. Is that what we had at uh, football? Yeah. Yeah, I had that orange, right? Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good stuff. I, d I need to try some of the cherry limeade. I thought the orange was okay. Did we got cherry limeade here? Yeah, we got cherry limeade and orange. Yep. That's what we're carrying right now. We have to send Mr. Robinson down at the end of this half inning to get us a poppy. Yep. Did you notice all the benefits, all the gut health and benefits that it uh, – uh, I probably need one more in my <laughs> system to uh, effectively, you know, to, yeah, to, to really help me yeah, you know, get the full benefit. For sure. I got a lot of gut, yep. so it has to <laughs> travel a lot. Kennedy Allen leads off the home half of inning number five. Lady Lions, two runs through these five innings, one in the second, one in the fourth. It's pitch high. Kennedy plunked, plunked by the pitch last time up. in there four strike to even the count at one and one. Man, I'm excited. Next Friday night, a week from Friday, we will be football bound. There's a ball it is right upon field. us. Down. Yeah, that'll get down. Oh, thought she just about misplayed it. Surprised Kennedy, the way she held on to it out there, didn't take an extra base, too. Miss Miller for her courtesy running duties. Now, here's a question I'll pose to you, Mr. Matheny. Have you uh, visited with your counterpart to the east, Mr. Campbell? Not yet. Oh, man. Well, we've visited about many things since school has started, but uh, as far as what, a, a, a space yes. to set up, I, we have not visited about that yet. 
So, uh, kind of stuck that elbow out there. Hey, we'll take it out. Home plate umpire Paul Williams says nope, no dice. Is Morris kind of saw what we saw? A little, uh, yeah, I mean, she was already up on the dish, so it was a little in. Charlie Hicks coming to the plate here. Yeah, I like a sack bunt right here to me is pretty textbook. The only other thing outside of that may be just straight steel. Good job of pulling back there. Always want to bunt and just strikes on the sacrifice. Yeah, I think, you know, with the third base coming in, if shortstop's a little late getting rotating over to third, I think you could uh, run the steal. That's a good, good bunt. bunt. That'll work. Oh. Yeah. Had, a little, uh, had a little sideways on it. Good job, Charlie Hicks. One, four on the successful sacrifice. Moving runners further into scoring position. Second and third with. I think we'll probably see another bunt here, even though Ruthie's been swinging the bat pretty good. Never going to get her. Uh-oh, no, we're in trouble. No. Nobody there. Nobody there, Got thankfully. <laughs> Center fielder not, not filling in where the middle infielders rotated out to their bags. I know Coach, Coach for Moore is probably not very happy about that, but it's really a tough play anyway. You, you know, when you bring your outfielder in to cover a bag like that, you're uh, – Peyton Guller, I'd imagine. There's absol yeah, absolutely nobody to back that throw up. So if it's a bad throw, everybody's running forever. Yeah, Blakely in to run for Caps and Peyton Guller. The bunt specialist, but I don't know what Coach Herring will do right here with Peyton. He might l let her swing away. She can hit. Sure. But she has done an excellent job of executing in some of these bunt situations. He might roll the dice and let her get one good hack in. If she falls behind in the count early, then may audible to the, to the bunt. Ruthie's bunt's going to go as a base hit. No chance of getting her. No chance of getting out anywhere. Bases once again loaded for the Lady Lions, which they had in the first inning. Unable to get any across. We'll see what happens here in the bottom of the fifth as pitch number two is inside for a 2-0 count. I would assume that the take's on. Yeah, 2-0 count right here. I Dead if, if, if you're well, if 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 you brought her in to swing the bat, I don't think you give her take with two o, three o yes, but two o I think you. If your intention is to let her swing, you let her swing. I mean, if your intention is not to let her swing, then yeah, you put the take on. Swung through that one, unable to catch up to it. Two and one, still in a plus count here though, Jeff. Tough down and in pitch right there. Now she's got a battle, though. Got a battle. Just get it and play. Something past the pitcher on the ground will work. We'll take a fly ball with Savannah. Or, or a deep fly ball. Strikeout for out number two. Bring up Cat Beal. Cat singled her last time. See what we have in store here for this at bat. Yeah, they're gonna shift their outfielders. Left fielder will come in and kind of play in that no man's land dead space behind third base, and center fielder will shallow up quite a bit and shift over towards the left center. Two and one to Cat. Ooh. That one, Cat looking away. That one kind of caught her off guard on the inside corner for strike two. 
Big pitch coming up right here. Oof. Just missed. Did just miss. And runners are going to be moving on the pitch. Running on release. Another big pitch right here. See if Cap can come through. Pretty big spot. Good base hit right here is going to score at least one. Coach Herring talks to the field ump for just a second. Not sure what that's about. There's a ground ball towards second. Booty missed the tag. She missed the tag. What's he pointing for? You got to call her safe, right? Well, just uh, I think you got to indicate she's safe. Right. Well, in a way he did. He pointed and shook his head no. <laughs> <laughs> no tag. <laughs> Probably not the textbook mechanic of it, but uh, served its purpose. Got the call right. Brindley, first pitch swinging, flies out to left for out number three. However, once again, the Lady Lions pick up a single run in strand three as we're through five, three to nothing, Chandler. Tedford Insurance, your Oklahoma-based commercial insurance agency, is here to be your defensive line against unexpected challenges. With their team of experienced agents, they'll design a tailored insurance plan that will cover your business from all angles. Tedford Insurance knows how to handle tough situations, from general liability to property coverage, workers' compensation, and employee benefits, they'll tackle it all for you. For top-notch coverage that will keep your business in the game, visit tedfordinsurance.com. Tedford Insurance, protecting dreams since 1978. Zaylin didn't uh, make it down to get us a poppy. <laughs> Come on, Z. We can hold off till between games. Oh. It doesn't, yeah, we can wait on that stuff. I'm trying to, try, just excited about getting my gut right. <laughs> I don't think uh, another 20 minutes or so is going to hurt. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Well, if you're in the water sales business, the business is probably good. Pretty, pretty good today. D. Lewis, the first baseman, coming up. Top of inning number six here at the old ballpark. You know, pretty much in control. Only a three-run game. But uh, so far, the Morris hitters have not shown much sign of catching up to Kennedy Allen. She struck out how many now? 11? Yes. Starts off ahead here to the seven hole, I believe. You, sir, believe correctly. One one. Leading off here in the top half of the sixth. Swing and a miss. Strike number two. I'm going to go ahead and write this down. That'd be all right. Only if you don't want it to happen. Man. It's going to happen. This pitch. Outer third. Strike three called. Or right down the middle. Swing and a miss. Just as effective, right? It'll work. Strikeout number 12. An effective pitch. <laughs> 12 out of 16 outs. I believe that's three-fourths. First pitch in for a strike. Three runs on 11 hits. Lady Lions. Three, five, six, seven. Stranded 10. Pitch is high. Make the count one and one. Oh. Boss Lady is here. All right. Thank you, Boss Lady. Love it. Boutique. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you got to ride on the back of them, though. 
I do, don't I? Or, yeah. How are we going to get this stick? Yeah, yeah. It's got sticky. Yeah, yeah. Got it. <laughs> do they have to be pretty up there? Well, I know you. You're gonna move. You, you're gonna make me put them up there pretty. I'm a, I hope to make it to where I can't see. Three, two. Hope this isn't a jinx. Ow! Well, yeah, you did it. Such a dummy I am. Mister, yep, yep. missed the tag. Got to Brindley, throw. yeah. Brindley's just got to, you know, apply that tag fully, and then try to sell it. She just kind of barely stuck her glove out. I think that first pitch was a ball. That was a one. He indicated. Oh, he did. A, he indicated a one. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, did she? Okay. Well, then it was definitely a strike. Sacrifice. One, four. Out number two, runner to third. Back to the top of the lineup with Osbrooks. See if Kennedy can leave that runner stranded at third. Pretty good pitch right there, just down and out. Just off the plate. Yeah. There's a pop up. Let's go hit my truck. Maybe mine. How many do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve coming up right here. Pretty soon. Nope. Fouled away. I'm caught up. It's <laughs> a lot of work. Huh? <laughs> yeah. It's a lot different. Thank you to Laura Matheny for the stickies. There we go. Hold on. Let me get this one written down. Hold on the phone, ladies and gentlemen. K number 12. Stake it. It's official. Scoreless headed into the uh, bottom of the sixth. 3 nothing, Lady Lions on ChandlerLions.tv. When you're looking for a well-made power sports product with a low price tag, KN Power Sports has you covered. Their Kimco lineup features small, affordable side-by-sides that can fit in the back of a truck, as well as scooters and ATVs. KN also offers off-road products from Yamaha, like the Wolverine R Max 2 and R Max 4. These class-leading side-by-sides have the power of a pure sport model with more versatility. Visit KN online at KN Motorcycle com and let the fun begin. Let's take a side by side and have a little fun from KN. Tommy, Tommy, let us borrow one, drive it around a while. Oh, I'm sure he would. Demo it. We could even hook up a camper, a little toy hauler. Isn't that what they're called? Yeah. Right behind it. Yeah. 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 Take a little vacay somewhere. Uh -huh. One of the beautiful state parks throughout the state of Oklahoma. Yeah, I'm just not gonna do it when it's 115 degree. Oof. Heat index. 
I may have to wait for a little bit nicer. It may be even hotter now. Yep, it is. 98 feels like 115. Dew point at 77 degrees. Oh, my gosh. That is sticky icky. CJ leading off here in the bottom half of the sixth. I think she's going to rip one right up the middle. Short stop side. He's got one of those feelings. Anybody out there watching today? Judd's here, so he can't text us. <laughs> I hadn't even heard from Lila today. That's unusual. 2-0. and oh. She gets to talk to you every day. Yeah. She's probably glad. <laughs> Taking a break. <laughs> well, with what... Uh, we have going on currently. She really doesn't want to talk to me. <laughs> Three and one. I texted well, a couple like of people to down there to. I text Tracy, uh, be all tell her, look at her. Oh, uh, A little ball on the right. That'll work. Get by her. Nice job by Carson. That'll work. Kept her soft, soft away. Tough to hit that hard, but uh, Carson stays back on that one just enough. Pop it out there in the right field. First pitch running. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking a little fake bunt with steel or, or take with steel where get Carson to second and then let Hadley just hack away at it and drive her in. I'd like to have some crooked numbers on that board, if you don't mind. Yeah, just there's the fake bunt. Go. Yeah, that'll get her to third. Maybe score. Oh. Come on down the line. I'd Come on. She's going to hold it. Hmm. I think if she'd have kept going, then she would have probably. Uh, I honestly don't know. Strike, I believe. SBE2. Surprise Beggs not bringing their infield and Beggs, uh, Morris not bringing their infield in to try to prevent this run from scoring. Yeah, Hadley will be hacking away if, uh, two and one. If she doesn't get it done, I could see potentially, I could see Kennedy dropping a bunt down to get that, uh, get that other run in. A little safety. Ball fouled away towards the Contina. Oh, no. It'll be all right. Is it really two and two? I'm that far behind. I was two pitches behind somehow. Uh-oh, Lila says, be careful what you say. She's out there listening. <laughs> There's a rip. I'd never say anything bad about Lila. No, I think it's uh, me saying something oh. bad, you know. <laughs> Lila likes you. Well, that's good to know. It's me that's the troublesome <laughs> part of this organization. No, she'll tell you that uh, I was the uh, – there's a song title that uh, out there that uh, fits me really well. Kennedy Allen. First pitch swinging into center. Make it down. Nope. Nice running catch made by the center fielder for the out. First out of the half inning. I'd like to see Sydney get into one right here. Very possible. There you go. Yep, Asking so. you shall receive. Good job. Just raw strength right there. That ball was well on the inside part of the plate. Got jammed just a bit, but uh, muscled that thing out there as she pulls it into left field. Bring Charlie up. Run scored. Single. 6-3 ground out. And a 1-4 sacrifice for Miss Hicks. Looking to pick up another run to get those crooked numbers going. There's a ball hitting in center, hit really well, but right at the center fielder. Nearly didn't have to move out of her tracks. 
Yeah, good contact. Put a good swing on it. Just hit it right to the center fielder. If I would have told you at the beginning of the season that Ruthie Caps was batting in the eight hole, I think you would have told me I'm a little bit silly. Well, she she's kind of started off, you know, she started off like the five or six hole. Yep. Didn't really have a great start to the season, but uh, she has swung it well. Done a pretty good job. Two for three with a sacrifice. Yeah. Well, just overall, and probably in the last five games, you know, her, you know, statistically has gotten a lot better, her numbers. But we've talked about this Lady Lion lineup numerous times about the bottom half production. And uh, if she's going to be two for three, we'll take that. So that pitch yeah, is up sure. over her head, two, two and oh. Yeah, it's really tough to find. There's really not any holes in the lineup. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, one person after another comes up, seems to give some good production. Good swing there. Just get out in front of it just a skosh. Look out. Ooh, watch out, watch out on deck. Gentry. Yeah. <laughs> She's uh, grabbing her heart area saying, whoo, that one scared me. <laughs> really got around on that one in a hurry. That one's right at Zaylin. Was you ready for that, Z? Net and the window and the laptop. No, we, we got to protect the laptop. Got to protect the laptop. Two and two. Two outs. Bottom of the sixth. High ball three. Ladies will be moving on the pitch. Don't leave too early. Going to get called out. Steve out there, he'll block you on the FB and call you out on the bases. Popped up on the right side. Will the first baseman be able to get there? She will not. New life. That's what we need. New life. Man, she just she's putting good swings. You don't see her swinging off balance, you know, or anything. Just not connecting consistently, although she has hit some balls hard, right? Good job fighting here and battling staying alive in this AB. Battle, battle. Is that how that goes? I don't know. I just, you know, kind of made up my own. Good at bat right there. I like that. Absolutely. Seventy feet. The runners go on the base on balls. Two caps. Courtesy running. Blakely Smith. All right, Gentry. This will be Do what your the, thing. At least the third time we've had bases loaded. This is the third time. We're not going to leave them loaded because Gentry's coming through right here. Sunshine's going to get somebody. And I don't mean Shane Allen because I saw him while ago. We'll take a bases uh, loaded walk, RBI. Turn the lineup over. Or we'll take a base. Oh. E coach. <laughs> two hands. That's why we use two hands in this league. Good things right here, Miss Garner. Let's go. Popped up down the left field line, out of play. Lots of foul balls today. Yeah, she's a pitcher for Morris. She's living on that inside edge. And the girls are getting out in front of it, fouling a lot off down that left side. She likes to start early in the count on the inside part of the plate, and then she'll try to go soft down and away. 
Nice job by uh, Mr. Body down there retrieving the foul ball. Man, that that guy's a trooper. If he's not up here, the ball sitting up here. And probably figures we'd probably try to find him a headset or something. <laughs> yeah. Gentry working a good at bat here. Fallon pitches off, staying alive. Got it in an even count at 2 2. Kind of surprised the, the way that they have Gentry shaded here, Jeff, in the center, way to the left side. Stand alive. Stand alive. Need those sound effects. What we got at baseball. Need to bring those back and reincorporate those. Ooh. There's that soft away. She likes that little oh, 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 oh. little change up down and away. That's a good job by Gentry being yeah. disciplined right there. I'm not sure that was the pitch that uh, the coach wanted to call. Well, I'm not sure what what do we got going on here. Are we going to make a pitching change and a full count, two uh, out? I don't think so. I think she needs a towel or something oh, of that okay. nature. I'm just guessing. Maybe. Okay. Gotcha. It is a skosh warm. Let's take a look at the uh, temperature once again right quick. Still 98 feet. Oh, has risen to a – Whoa, One, how does that happen? 118. Look at the dew point, at, 79. At 6.18 p.m., the dew it's point, going up. The dew point has risen two points, which is tells you what the humidity in the air is. Yeah. So when you walk outside, be prepared to lose your breath. <laughs> this is, in the words of I don't know who, brutal. At 2 o'clock this afternoon, I was grilling burgers and dogs for concession. So oh, that gosh. was fun. <laughs> Holy cow. I was at least doing it in the shade out in front of the uh, concession stand here, though. It was still miserable, I bet. Oh, it was still warm. But, hey. 118 heat index. My goodness gracious. Let's take a look at this. See what we can find. Air temperature. Garner's having a great at bat here, battling. Work to a full count. Good at nice. bat. Another excellent Absolutely at bat. Beautiful. Yeah. Two good at bats there by Caps right before that. And Garner working the count full, laying off some real tough pitches. And uh, gets another run across. Bro, look at this. 122, Okima. 121, heat index. Hmm. Get down, ball. Get down, ball. Oh, nice catch made by the left fielder off the bat of B all. But the Lions do finally get crooked numbers on the board with two as they take a two to nothing lead headed into the top half of the seventh. You're watching Lady Lions softball on ChandlerLions.tv. Strikeout number 12 in the last half inning for Kennedy Allen. Bring up uh, Cagle, number 15, leading off the two-hole hitter. F4 and KS. Laura, my uh, ChandlerLions.tv shirt fit really well. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Matheny. <laughs> You're welcome. I'd like to have one of these gray ones. It's pretty slick, too. Nah, they're... They're hot. <laughs> oh, now we got jokes in the press box. All right. Let's see how it's going to be. Kegel. Leading off the visiting half of the seventh. Her squad trailing by five. Those pitches up and out for ball one. I 
once again, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, come Thursday at 4 o'clock, we'll have four games for you here on ChandlerLions.tv for the conference tournament. Lady Lions, the number one overall seed in the tournament. The other half of the bracket is in Okamaha, otherwise known as Okima. <laughs> Maybe it'll only be like 95 Thursday or something. Ninety-five is definitely better than one eighteen. Just need to get that humidity down. Two and one. Strike. There we go. Uh oh. Do I get it ready? No. Okay. I was told no. It's in my hand, however. Here's the pitch. Line to Carson. Out number one is recorded in the top half of the seventh. Carson got the shades on. She needed them for that one because that sun is. Right in her face. Do close. There's a struck out twice in the contest. <laughs> Will she be strikeout? Victim number 13. Did you watch any White Sox games back in the day? Oh yeah, yeah. Cubs and Cubs and White Sox back they, on when WGN was kind of the only yeah baseball channel. TBS. Yeah, those that, two. Them, yeah, a lot of the Braves games. I like it that uh, uh, White Sox announcer. He one of his catchphrases was, "You can put it on the board." Yes, yes. I do gonna, remember that's that. That's what we're going to do. I do remember that. That was for a home run, though, when he stepped on home at the end. I believe it was. We're going to have a variation. I'm going to break it out for you here, <laughs> debut it, if oh, this yeah. one happens. I'm peeling it off, I believe. Yes, sir. You can put number 13 on the window. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We can go seven across. Thirteen of them of the stickies are on the window, folks. I have a weird feeling I'm going to have some kind of dream about Laura Matheny tonight because that's what's in my line of sight. I keep <laughs> seeing that name everywhere. <laughs> Shoot. Let me, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, let me just peel this one off too. End it in grand fashion here as Miss Clark, number 28, has struck out twice today. I got the letter. I got part of the letter and the number. I'm going with looking right here. Hey. That'll work. You can put it on the window. 14. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in Kennedy's last two performances here at Lady Line Softball, she has not giving up a hit in either game and only had one base runner both on walks so two no-nos for Kennedy Jeff and you know not the numbers you want to see uh being stranded through six innings three in the first one in the second one in the third two in the fourth three in the fifth three in the sixth nine ten thirteen total runner stranded for the Lady Lions but it's kind of hard to complain when you come away with a five to nothing victory right right well you'd like to see maybe not quite as many runs stranded I mean they the ladies still put up five runs won the game pretty much were in control the entire time but uh, you know when you're getting a lot of base runners on I mean you're gonna strand some runners it's just kind of part of it but uh, you know five nothing victory no another no hitter by Kennedy Allen, a 10-plus K performance was striking out, what did we say, 14 today? Is that? 14 yep. stickies up there. 14 stickies. So she gets 14 Ks, bumping her.
previous average of 11, you know, 11 and some change per start. So another good outing for Kennedy and another good district victory for the Lady Lions. Let's go over this uh, 66 conference tournament fast pitch schedule once again before we head out and say bid adieu for the evening. It's uh, number one overall seed Chandler faces Seminole on Thursday at 4 o'clock. And uh, that will be here at Lady Lions Field. And following at 5.30, it uh, will be Holdenville versus Prague in the 5-4 matchup. While at Okima at uh, 4 o'clock, it will be Okima, the seventh seed in hosting, with Stroud, the number two overall seed. McLeod, the three seed, will face off against the Meeker Bulldogs at 5.30. Winners will play at 8.30 at their respective sites, while the losers will play at 7 o'clock on Thursday at their respective sites. So four games of softball will be played on Thursday here in Chandler. Invite you to come out and uh, enjoy the action. And the uh, there will be no games on Friday because of football scrimmages. And Saturday is uh, 12 o'clock and 4:30 with an if game to follow if need be. So Lady Lions get back on the winning ways. That's two in a row. Ten to uh, let's see uh, ten and four overall now for the Lady Lions. Jeff, any closing words? No, not really. Just keep it rolling. So we'll uh, I'll let you uh, get us off the air here, and words we'll see to, you next time. Words to the wise, and uh, we'll see you Thursday at 4 o'clock. You've been watching ChandlerLions.tv's presentation of Lady Lions Softball. Have a good night. We'll see you later. Recognize the king, and they know that MVP rose from that grave. It's game time, game time, game time. We win and we win and we win and we win and it's game time, game time, game time. We win and we win and we win and we win. And we win, and we win, and we win. Mm -hmm. Undefeated, never lost.